Can you see it, Ben? What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, I walk in here one day, and I see that uh, Dad's got Misfit on the rack and uh, got the whole back end tore out of it. So, uh, so he's wanting to do... We've been talking about doing some upgrades on the ladder bars for quite a while, and it's something that, that's needed to be done because the ones that are in it uh, were just not made to to do what we're trying to do right now they're more for a street car setup so we're going to go ahead and build some new ones upgrade all that stuff and uh just get the rear suspension at right and make a few other little changes with the car and suspension and stuff like that try to make it <clears throat> handle a little better a little more tunable a little more predictable and uh just stronger and safer so so that's what we're going to do we're going to jump into this and uh See if we can get it done before uh, the next few weeks we at uh, Funny Car Chaos in Baton Rouge to make. I just feel like it's fitting me something hitting me in my head. I got it. You got it? Dang greasy. Can you see it, Ben? Yeah, I may have to look at it from the other direction because the sun's kind of yeah, blowing the... Look at that how it's down there. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't know how well it shows up on, on camera, but that's the reason you, we decided to go ahead and do this. It's something we've been meaning to do for a little while. You can see it's touching down there. Yeah. So bold that away. Kind of do better, bigger, better, stronger as always. Yeah, I mean these these were built uh, with with a 289 with a tonal ram and a four speed. That's where it started being. It started yeah. curving up this way. So I got under there one late. It's that ain't pretty, but it played at that to give us some strength. So then it just started arching the other way. Yeah. Served its purpose. <clears throat> yep. They're heavy too. They new ones would be chrome mod. So I, which I try to weigh them, see if they ain't a few pounds different. Yeah. Probably will be, yeah. So these are. Will be. And it don't matter, they're going to definitely be stronger since they're chrome mod. Right. So we did, uh, that's just really similar to how we did the Aces High ones. It's a uh, chrome molly tubing, inch and a quarter, outside diameter, thick wall, chrome molly. Um, and they're going to be a little bit shorter than the old ones. I think they ended up being 10 inches shorter. Yeah, about 10 inches shorter. The old ones were like 62, and these are going to be like 52. So 54. 54, okay. I think it'll be 54 high to high. So yeah, so that's what we're working on now. Get these knocked out and get them up under there. And then once we get that done, then we may uh, turn our attention towards the front with some ideas we've had on that. But uh, we'll, we'll just see how far we get. We're, we're trying to make Funny Car Chaos, Baton Rouge. It's not a ton of time, but we'll get this much done at least.
pick it up. Mm. You had a drop pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty heavy. Like, that's, um... I don't know how accurate these scales is when I'm getting at it. It's just some bathroom scales I picked up at a garage sale. 25 pounds. 25. I felt like more 25 pounds you pick it up with. Yeah, it did, but that's probably about right. I mean, I, if I picked up a 25 pound weight and tried to curl it, you know. And this is the new foam model. It is about 10 inches shorter. Yep, shorter. And uh, that is a thick wall chromoly though, so they're, I mean, they're tough. They're, they're fairly heavy, this up. They should be stronger than that mile. Mm hmm. Let's see what this one weighs. So that's that about 15, 10 pounds lighter? Yeah, so that's pretty much 10 pounds. Each, I'll be 20 more pounds off yep. the car. I ain't got to go on a diet just yet. Yeah. Put the car on there. Plus, it should be stronger. Might actually work better. Yeah, I, I feel like they're going. You can actually kind of adjust what that we move and try to, and just it never responded to nothing. Yeah, it's it, well, it seemed like it it would respond like the first pass or two out, it would do good, and then it would kind of go back to just kind of being unpredictable again. It kind of go all over the place. So I am going to put a little uh, round tube cross member in it to hook these two. So right. I'll probably add another five pounds back to it yeah i mean that's gonna be another cross member in the, in the main frame rails that'll stiffen that up some too right I for sure might, uh, might. yeah i mean the, these are definitely uh, i try to get a couple different angles you can definitely see where they were they were bending and flexing and it seemed like every time we get up under there and look it, they'd be going a different direction so um so every time we'd make a change um suspension wise whether it be rear steer or whatever it, it seemed like it would help initially and then um, and then it just get all out of whack again whenever we check it. So the more power we put to it, the worse it got. Yeah, for sure. So um, back whenever we we're running, you know, when it was running with the small block forward, you know, we weren't really having any issues out of this stuff. Probably doubled the torque, the torque output since then. So all right. So back in the shop today, and uh, Dad got these finished up and uh threw a coat of uh threw a coat of red paint on them they look pretty sharp and uh they're ready to go and then he's over here working on this uh cross member you recall from uh one of our swap meet videos we ended up buying this stuff and at the moultrie swap meet so we're utilizing that it's a little bit rusty but it was affordable it was affordable Watch that. that. That's sharp. Uh. Yeah, so we've just been using bits and pieces out of that bucket load of stuff we bought over there on this thing, too. So Get that going and then get the rear end back up in it. So you pretty much got the ladder bars done. You're about to burn them in, burn that cross member in for the final time. Try not to touch anything. We got all our measurements and everything set. You want to measure it again, or it's just yeah, gonna be? Yeah. All right. Currently, I got 54 and a half on that one, dead on it. Fifty-four and a half dead on it. We heard it. Yep.
But she's just about ready to go for Baton Rouge, Funny Car Chaos, Cajun Chaos, Nationals, whatever this weekend. So, what do you think? I think she's ready. We're going to see. You know, she's always got a surprise for us. Yeah. we got all new ladder bars under it, and I got everything pretty much in a neutral position. So, we're starting over from scratch with the suspensions. Uh, I'll probably go down and just try to make a hit and see what it does. And, We'll start adjusting and get back with a hammer on it, you know, again. So, but the motor sounds good. She's been taking a nap for a little while. But we went back over the valves and sealed everything up, and it's no leaks. Crank's good, sounds good, so you ought to be good to go. Yeah. Another thing, we ride off the interstate here at my shop. We're at the exit 28 is an apple. Right by my shop. Me and my buddies is headed south. Off I-55. Off of I-55. If you come through Jackson, Mississippi, if you're on I-55 South, just keep it in the back of your mind. If you got a few minutes, stop off at exit eight. I like you go get off at exit eight, you go six, seven miles to the west mm -hmm. and the Leonard Skinner monuments out there. That's where Leonard Skinner's plane crashed, and that's uh them guys uh have really done a real nice job fixing the uh the monuments and all, it's, got, it's, it's a cool spot. You know, if you got a few minutes, jump off exit eight, go to the west, and you'll see the sign right on the interstate down there, but yeah. uh, it's definitely worth a few minutes to stop by there. Yeah, it is It is really nice. So, And uh, like I said, a lot of guys will be coming through our neck of the woods. Baton Rouge is probably one of the closest, that's probably one of the closest races we'll actually get to run with the car. Yeah, that's, that's, um, that's 100 miles, I think about 90, 95 yeah. miles. Yeah, so. Um, so it should be good, you know, uh, Baton Rouge State Capital Raceway is, is famed for the the Cajun Nationals, you know, NHRA, you know, back in the 80s and 70s and everything. And uh, we hadn't really done much at Baton Rouge uh, since then, but I feel like this will be the closest thing they'll be able to get to, you know, kind of no, reliving no the- No doubt, as far as it, this will be the closest thing that's been since the Cajun Nationals is down here. Yeah. Earlier 90s was the last one they were on, maybe. Chris Graves and them do a fantastic job. I mean, as far as the funny cars I've been seeing, man, it's just like you say, it's like walking right into old Hot Rod magazine from the late 70s, early 80s. And uh, yeah, them funny cars are older, but they ain't no joke. Yeah. I mean, they, they, uh, they throw a good show and they're not out there for games. They, them guys are dead serious too. I just hope my girl here don't get caught up in the wrong staging lane and I'd skin a few of them up or something, you know. But yeah. I'm going to try to stay with the gasers where I belong. But, I mean, man, the Blue Max is going to be there. That's enough in itself. Yeah, yeah. That's a... I could just go down the list. Jet cars. Top fuel dragsters. Mm -hmm. A few of them down there, I think. A ton of gassers. Oh, man, you got the Dirty South gassers are going to be tangling up with the uh, Southern Outlaw gassers again. And, uh, I mean, they all my friends, but this weekend they ain't. I might take it over. Take, a, take it easy on a couple of them because they cook some pretty good barbecue, but that's just going to be a trick. As soon as I get a rib from them, we're going to be at the start line. They got a lot of cars that you hadn't probably not used to seeing if you follow our page and stuff like that. And uh, it's going to be different. You're going to see a lot of different cars. And like I say, the funny cars and stuff, man, them guys, is uh, it's just unreal. It's unreal. You know, to be able to. In this day and time, to just walk back in time and boom, there they are. Yeah. It's, it's just amazing. It's just yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty neat deal. So if you guys, uh, if you guys are interested and need something to do this coming weekend, April the eighth uh, and 9th, come on out to Baton Rouge and uh, and come see us and watch some funny cars and uh, it, it ought to be a blast, a heck of a show for sure. And uh, we'll get back with you guys uh, on how this thing does and. We got the Mustang still coming along back there in the back. It'll be the next one, too, to go to the track. So, but, uh, all right, guys, we'll see you on the next one.